Welcome to Foot Talk with Shil. We just finished Bakreed end of July and August is a month full of festivities. We have Friendship Day, Raksha Bandhan, Janmashtami, Ganesh Chaturthi and finally Onam. So today I have my friend Vinanti with me here in the kitchen. So Vinanti what are we making today? Um, today for Janmashtami we will make um, makhani ki kheer or a lotus seed kheer. Um, Krishna is supposed to love uh, milk products so that's why I thought this would be the best thing to make. And see they're both in yellow too because yeah. she told me that is the color for Janmashtami. Yeah, it's usually yellow or saffron uh, so we just thought we <laughs> enhance the festival mood with that. Okay, so she's going to guide us on how to make this makhani ki kheer. But before we head on to the recipe, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Foot Talk with Shil. Now our pan is hot, let's add some ghee and uh, roast our cashews till they are golden brown. Now our cashews are roasted, let's put them on the side and then we add a little more ghee uh, to roast our makhanas till they are golden brown too. So how long do we have to roast the makhanas? Uh, on a medium to high flame, uh, you roast it for about 5 to 7 minutes until they are golden brown. You'll see the color change and they'll appear a little more crunchy. Crunchy, okay. So now our makhanas are done. Uh, what we do now is uh, we take one third of these makhanas and coarsely grind it. Okay. And the rest we keep it keep aside. The grinding is so that you know it gives a thick creamy okay, yeah, texture to the milk mm -hmm. when we add it to the milk and it's not very, because we are not adding any mava or anything. Yeah, no other thickness basically. Yeah. So this acts as that thickening agent right, for the tea. Right. Okay. So uh, this is one liter of uh, milk. It's uh, what we are using is a uh, amul full fat milk. Okay. You can use any brand but mm -hmm. just has to be a full fat mm -hmm. milk. Um, you bring it to a boil and then let it simmer for another 5 to 7 minutes so that it becomes thick but, but you don't reduce? really need okay. to reduce it. You don't have to reduce it, you don't have to go through yeah. that process. So this is an easy recipe so you don't have to go through all those steps of reduction and all. Okay. Now that our milk has boiled, we will add our roasted makhana, mm -hmm. the full ones, mm -hmm. and then we will add our um, the coarsely grinded right. ones. So basically, we let the full uh, makhana soak in the milk for about five minutes yes, yes. before we add the, the coarsely grinded, grinded ones. Now let's add some uh, hot milk to our saffron. Now let's add the sugar. And then let's add some cardamom powder. This is about one or two cardamoms that we have powdered and used. Uh, Sharon, can we just add our saffron now? Yeah, sure. So let all the ingredients boil together for 5 minutes and then you will see a nice pale yellow color from the saffron. That's when you know it's almost done. So yeah, this probably is the right time for you to taste it and see if you need more sugar. Yeah, you can try some. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is perfect sweetness for me. It's not too sweet. Yeah, it actually is supposed to be mildly Mild. sweet. It's not like our rice kheer, uh, mm. which is really sweet. So now you can see we have a pale yellow color that we were looking for. Uh, this is the right time to turn off our uh, gas. The consistency of this is almost like liquidy mm -hmm. and uh, it will thicken because as it cools the makhana will absorb the milk and it will be a slightly more thicker than this. Usually this makhana kheer is not as thick as a normal no, rice right. kheer. Okay, so I think you sh we shouldn't be boiling it too much thinking that it has to thicken up so that's not how it's supposed to be. Okay, so I can turn off the heat now. Yes. It's all done and ready to be served.